Good day, YouTubers, and welcome to the vlog. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff to do today, and uh, of course, I thought I'd get on the highway, and that was obviously a bad idea, because we are stuck in traffic. Um, I think it's an accident, and it's just up ahead, which is good, because then it's not like way up there, and there's like five kilometers worth of traffic. It looks like there's only 500 meters of traffic. And we'll be able to slip by and get on our way. Hopefully nobody's hurt. So our list today consists of dropping off posters and order forms to two dance studios. I have to get water, so I have four jugs, empty jugs with me, obviously they're empty. Uh, I'm thinking about getting some another pair of bike shorts with like the bib style. Uh, and then I gotta drop Ben off later on. I'm gonna s check into signing up with the YMCA in uh, Alcona. Uh, and then that's about it. So I got a bunch of stuff to do. To do. Oh, and I've got uh, a bag of uh, stuff for Goodwill and some bowls and things that we don't use anymore. So dropping them off to the Goodwill and hopefully they can sell them and make some money off them and help people out. So yeah, got lots of stuff to do today. Oh, and then I've got all these empties, uh, beer bottles and stuff that I gotta get rid of get the money back you know what I'm saying all right so I'll show you the accident if we get close yeah this is people a uh, person stopped right in the middle of the road oh there they hit something oh they hit that person because they're in there and they're just waiting for police I guess what else would you wait for oh well nobody was hurt didn't look like it Let's do our first stop. All right, so we did my first drop off. Now we're going to the Goodwill and water. So we'll drop off the Goodwill stuff first. There's like a drive-through donation center. There's the, the Goodwill and the water store is over there. So I believe I have to drive around the back over here, there's the water, the fish store. You guys are gonna know this town, like, or you probably already know it. This, especially this area of Barry. So we drive around the back. Whoa, big, big hole. And this is like a little covered area, so people people don't just leave the stuff there. Are they not open on a Saturday? Yes, they are. We are now just going over to the water store, so we dropped off the stuff to the Goodwill. Now we gotta get water. We just hope we get a good close parking spot so you don't have to carry them, the water bottles. And of course, there's no flipping spots. That sucks. So we're gonna have to do some illegal parking. That's right, here we go. All right, all the water jugs are done from the water depot. Now we are, I think the closest place to me right now is the beer store. I'm just crossing things off my list. Let's go to the beer store and cash in our bottles. We are now at the beer store. Gotta get our empties. Collecting for a while. So I should get some, at least five bucks. I'm thinking, I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shut the camera off. So I got four bucks back. <laughs> some guy brought in like all of, his, all of his recycling cans, thinking that he was gonna get money for them all. That's pretty funny. She's like, no, no, no. He had like monster cans, pop cans. Just didn't, doesn't understand. All right, so I have done one, two, three. Let's go shopping. Let's get some shorts. I wanna get a new pair of shorts. I just remembered something else I can do today. I need windshield wipers, because these, the one on the right especially, doesn't work very well. So I'm also update both of them. And uh, the place where we, get this car fixed. 
most of the time through Suzuki is just the next intersection north of us on Dunlop. So we'll stop by there and get new wiper blades. Yay! So I thought I'd check out this store called uh, The Bike Zone. Never been here before. Been to a lot of bike stores, but not this one. So I'm looking for a bib. These guys have a lot of bikes. Nice. That's pretty. The price of carbon has come down so much. Uh, so my next bike will be hopefully a fully carbon bike. Steve and I were talking about this yesterday. And uh, one of the cool things would be to uh, definitely get an 11 speed. And we we're talking about the gear ratio and what gears would be the best ones. And, uh, but definitely I want to get all carbon and at least Altegra, everything Altegra. 105 is okay, but Altegra is better. I don't need Dura Ace and Dura Ace is very expensive. I don't need that. Let's see if they got the shorts I need, which are like this. Like that, but uh, I like the LG ones that I have, so hopefully they have them. Well, they don't have the same kind of shorts that I want or the same brand. And I want, oh, I need to stick to that same brand. But they had some amazing sales on bikes. Very, 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 very tempting. Need to make more money for that. For that. All right, seatbelts on. Let's go to the next bike store. The one I was originally going to, I'm glad I stopped in here because I just, I had no idea the store was that big. They got a lot of stuff, a lot of inventory. All right, over to bike land. Look at that. That's how I know I'm at bike land. Because it says I'm in bike land. I'm gonna lock my door. Lots of shorts. Lots of helmets. Let's just hope they have LG. Yes, they do. All right, they had, of course, the nicest pair they had was $250. And I don't have $250 to spend on a pair of shorts, so. I'll just keep looking, see if I can find uh, the shorts that I have at home online and see if I can order them online because I can't afford that. I think the ones I had were around $100 and that's what I can afford to spend on a pair of shorts. So I think everything is done. Oh, the YMCA. I'm gonna see if, uh, how much it costs to join the gym. Just remember to have to stop in at uh, Suzuki and buy some windshield wipers. All right, we're off. The best thing about going to the place where you bought your car or at least the same company that sold the car, like I'm going to Suzuki to get my wiper blades, is he's like, oh, do you want me to put them on for you? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. And I think it was going to be cheaper here than at Canadian Tire and they put it on for me. So it was a win-win situation for me. I think it cost 44 bucks for both blades. I think uh, Canada, Canada Tire was like 20, $24, $25 for the one blade. I'm not sure how much the other one was. Couldn't find it. That's the other thing too is walk in here, ask, for, tell him what kind of car you have. He grows, grabs them for you, puts them on for you. Done. Love it. Didn't think I was going to have enough time, but it looks like I have some time to stop off at the Innisfil Rex Complex. And it's uh, part of the... Uh, the YMCA. So they've got pretty much everything here. So I'm gonna see how much it costs to join for a year and what it includes. Can I use the pool anytime I want? And all those kinds of questions. Let's do it. Yeah, they got two pools, ice rinks, all kinds of stuff. Big basketball courts, running track. Nice. This YMCA does it by the month. They don't have like a year pass, which is what I would like to buy. And that what you think you'd save money if you're, 
you know, basically commit to a year long thing anyway. So they do it by the month and it's 55, 37 Canadian for one person. A couple is 10137. So it's a little bit cheaper. And then I'm not sure what this next one is. It's like one parent family is 7910. Is that camera on? Yep. Are you listening? <laughs> and a two parent family is 118. So I could get, because Ben already belongs to the one in Bradford. This one's more convenient and closer to us at home. Uh, so I might do the Carol, Megan and me for 118 bucks a month. I guess it's good if you do it for a month, then you, if you don't want to go for next month, you're going on vacation, whatever, then you just don't buy it for the month. Anyway, let's go home. And now it's happy birthday time. So we're going to say happy birthday to Mickey B, Jordan R, and I'm not sure if it's Say Jan or Sahan, it's S A J A N, Jacob, and that is, and Larry Graves, never heard of him, uh, uh, David M. So happy birthday to everybody. Uh, Larry and I go way back on YouTube, we've done a bunch of videos together, so a big happy birthday to you, buddy. Ooh, ice just fell off the roof onto my back. Nice. All right, so uh, this is all I'm going to do for today. Uh, have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.